guys, welcome back to another cleaning video. Today's video is going to be an all day whole house clean with me. I have so much cleaning motivation packed into this video. So get ready, it's gonna be awesome. Don't forget if you're new here to hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications because otherwise YouTube will not show you my videos in your newsfeed. Okay, so I have a load in here of wet clothes and a load in here of clean clothes. So I'm going to get this out and that switched over to here. So in my last cleaning video, I got some questions of asking about what laundry products I like to use. I use exclusively Gain products. I don't know why, but I just love the smell of the Gain products. I use the laundry detergent, the fabric softener, the dryer sheets, and the scent bead boost thingies. Okay, so now I got the laundry switched over and all that stuff. I'm gonna pour myself an iced coffee and I'm gonna show you guys how I've been taking it lately. Okay, so this is switched around. So I wanted to thank Premier Protein for sponsoring today's video. And I have been loving this chocolate peanut butter flavor. Chocolate peanut butter is my favorite flavor ever of all time. I want chocolate peanut butter everything. So this Premier Protein is perfect for me. And basically what I do is I just make extra coffee in the morning. This is not the right time. It's not 624. Um, but I make extra coffee in the morning and then I put a bunch of ice in this. I'll show you guys in just a second. But um, I love these things because it's kind of like an extra pick me up that extends my meal time, like a snack in between my meal time. Or you could even use it as a meal. It only has 160 calories and it has 30 grams of protein, which is amazing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make this real quick. So first, after I grab a cup from the cupboard, I just fill it up with ice. And I actually put a lot of ice just because um, I hadn't refrigerated either of the drinks that I was putting together. So I put a lot of ice. So eventually you'll see that I ended up making two of these drinks, which was really nice because I had a lot of cleaning to do. So I just wanted to have something to sip on during the day while I was cleaning and it kind of kept giving me energy throughout the day. So Premier Protein is launching its newest highly anticipated 30 gram flavor chocolate peanut butter protein shake. And that is what I'm using today in my new little recipe. I've been actually drinking Premier Protein with iced coffee for years and years and years. If you guys remember, I talked about it in several videos. And I wanted to mention that the chocolate peanut butter shake has no peanut allergens, which is super important for some people to know. So my perfect match is me plus these chocolate peanut butter premier proteins with iced coffee. I feel like that's the perfect combination. You guys know how much I love coffee and drink it all the time. And then having peanut butter chocolate is just like the icing on the cake. Now, if you're curious where you can pick up some of this premier protein chocolate peanut butter, you can check my link in my description box. I have all the information listed there. And because I put so much ice, because I didn't have the Premier Proteins in the fridge and I didn't have the coffee in the fridge, so I put a lot of ice so I can actually get two drinks out of one of the boxes. So I feel like that is perfect for me because I'm gonna be basically cleaning all day long. So it'll be good to have like something to sip on. And seriously, you guys, if you have not tried the peanut butter chocolate flavor, it tastes bomb. Okay, can we just take a look at how disgusting my kitchen is, which this happens every day. Let's be honest. This is like the after breakfast mess. And then over here, 
We've had Legos set up for like 24 hours. All of us want some water. You want some water? Yeah. Okay. Fiona and Hudson want some water too. Okay. So my kids are on spring break this week so there's a lot of like playing and Legos and toys like all over the place. Normally we're more on like a schedule of cleaning up multiple times a day because they're doing their virtual online school at the house. So I think I've been a little bit out of my routine so the house was like pretty messy um, and you'll see the kids a lot more throughout this video just because um, Oftentimes when I film cleaning videos, I film them on the weekend when Sean's at home and I usually have him kind of keep an eye on the kids. And this day it was actually during the week. So <laughs> I was doing my normal mom duties along with cleaning. So if you see them a lot more, that's why. So we have really hard water here where I live, like really hard water. So we're probably gonna have to get a water softener, but because of that, the water spots on my sink make it look really like dingy and dull. So if I don't like scrub my sink out like this, it doesn't look very good. Anyways, to get to the point, I was wondering for those of you who have hard water, what do you do with a sink like this to make it look really nice and shiny? Okay, so now I have all the dishes put away, which there was a lot, and that sink was disgusting. I don't know if you could fully see it on camera, but now I'm gonna wipe down all the surfaces. There are crumbs everywhere. So I need to wipe down like the island and then the counters back here. So we're gonna do that real quick. There's something so, so good and nice about getting my counters wiped down. For some reason, when my counters are wiped down, I was like this in the condo too, but if my counters are wiped down and it's all clean, I feel a million times better just knowing that there aren't crumbs, like I can set things down and there's not gonna be like something sticky. Oh, I wanted to talk with you guys 
um, switching subjects about my new plant. So we had a friend, a couple friends of ours over the other night for dinner and they brought us that plant as a housewarming present, which we are so excited about because as you guys know, I don't have very many living plants in my house. I have mostly fake plants. So that is my one plant to take care of and I like left it in the kitchen close enough to the sink so that I can just, you know, put the water on, stick it under the sink and it won't die on me. The older two kids are up here in the guest room. Where is everybody? Hi. Hi. Right here. Oh my gosh. And look at the closet. I paint stuffed animals like everywhere. Mm -hmm. My place. And then I got my water down there. Very in. interesting. And then I put all my stuff there. We'll have to, you know. Yeah, and there's uh -oh, a Hudson's snake calling. on the door. Now, some of you guys had mentioned in my last cleaning video that I need to get one of those, um, what do you call it? Like a robot vacuum, the ones that are like the circle that just kind of go on its own. Um, and you're so right. And the funny thing is we have one of those robot vacuums. I just can't find it. So I know it's in the garage somewhere. It's on my list of things to do to get in there and try to find it. And the funny, okay, funny thing is our house is pretty put together like we are done unpacking i don't think i have any more moving well i might have one moving box actually upstairs in the boys room that i need to put away but besides that we're pretty much unpacked but when you go into our garage it is a disaster if you watch my vlogs i showed you i think in one of my most recent recent vlogs um, and I compared it to Monica's closet. Okay, this is so embarrassing. I don't know why I left this part in, but this is me and my mom life and the kids wanted to dance and I always have country music blasting when I'm cleaning the house. It just kind of motivates me and makes me feel like it's fun. So anyways, you'll see over the next couple minutes, the kids are just dancing and dancing and dancing. really hot it's supposed to be like 90 something degrees today here so <laughs> I'm starting to like heat up after moving around so much I've probably been cleaning for about an hour now so my I'm back in the laundry room by the way my dryer is done drying my clothes so I'm going to pull all those out and put them on my bed and then I'm gonna go fold two loads of laundry
So as you can see, the lighting is totally different in this shot than in the last scene. And that's just because we took a break for lunch and just to like be with the kids and kind of do some stuff with them. So, I mean, if you're a mom, like it's just not gonna happen to be able to clean nonstop all day long. But you can like pull out moments of cleaning here and there. And I feel like if you do that all day long, then at the end of the day, the house will just be so much cleaner than if you didn't. So I don't do this every day. Like I really, really don't, but I do this, you know, when the house really needs to be cleaned like badly, I'll just set aside a day that I'm just gonna work on the house full on. And it doesn't mean I'm cleaning nonstop throughout the whole day, but it does mean that I'm just like in my, moments where I feel like the kids are busy or playing or you know watching a movie or something then I will just take time to fold laundry or obviously <laughs> I was hanging out with Hudson here he kind of hangs out with me but he's at that age where he just kind of follows me around everywhere which is totally awesome So I am basically done folding up all the laundry and getting it put into piles by person and like which area it's gonna be put away in. And then you'll see right here, I'm just gonna snap my fingers and I'm gonna put away all the laundry. Don't we wish that it was that easy in real life? I know that I do. <laughs> so next up on my list, I'm gonna be cleaning my floors in the main living areas. We had some serious spills after I mopped recently um and so yeah just you know kids spilling all that stuff there was just like sticky stuff on the floor and i cannot stand that feeling so i just feel like in the main living area i'm gonna have to mop way more often and so that's basically what i'm gonna do right now
Now I'm using my O Cedar spin mop. This is like the only mop that I have. So I'm really curious down in the comments if you guys want to let me know if you have a different mop that you really like. I have heard a lot of good things about steam mops, which sounds really cool, but I don't really like the fact that you have to plug those things in. I'm pretty sure you have to plug them in. I don't really feel like that would be easy, but um, yeah, I'd love to know. I love hearing from you guys of like different methods of cleaning. Um, a lot of people who watch are from here but there's lots of people from other countries and other areas of the world i love hearing different um, types of cleaning methods or different ways of doing things in life so leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have a mop you could even leave a link if you want to go that far but i'd love to check out other mops as well just to see like what else is out there So recently we had a family sleepover with some of our really good family friends that we have known for forever. They were in our wedding, all this stuff. So it was really fun, but they were the first people to use the guest bed. They thought it was so comfortable. They messaged us the next day and they were like, what was the brand of that bed? So um, I just wanted to report back that this bed is super comfortable. Um, and then I wanted to pull all the sheets off because we're going to be having my parents come and spend the night in a couple weeks just to have, you know, just a fun like sleepover. So I wanted to get everything like super fresh and clean for them when they come. So as we're nearing the end of the video, I wanted to check in with you guys and kind of ask you for what videos you would like to see here on my channel. I always want to hear from you guys um, if there are any like video ideas or questions that you have for things in our house or in our lives because I do like to do vlogs. Um, I was just talking about that this morning and why I like doing vlogs and I just feel like I never want to have people feel like they're alone in life and so that's part of the reason why I like doing vlogs so that just got deep really quick but if you have any video requests make sure you leave them down below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet with bell notifications turned on because if you don't click the bell you won't get my videos in your news feed so anyways all that to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys